Will you marry me? <gasps> we say yes. Oh, I've been researching gay weddings, and according to Bruce'sabride.com, the mother of the bottom. I'm going to marry someone a third my age, and I'm going to die from a sexual overdose. Either way, I can't leave you two anything. If you die first, why don't we get anything? Because I have to leave everything to my hot, young, widowed husband. That's the way it works, you know. You have to pay it backwards. Oh, it's Bo. Oh, he's naked. Oh, oh, give me that, give me that. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I wish he'd just come out from behind the counter. Oh, that would be so Okay, good. again, ooh, oh. he's your future son-in-law. Oh, I'm only thinking of Seth. According to topbanana.com, power bottoms often struggle in a relationship if their partner isn't a big slugger. Yeah, I don't know what you just said. I want my baby to be happy. All right, maybe we uh, shouldn't uh, spy. No, no, Amanda, it's in the Patriot Act. I just need Bo to come around the counter. Give me that. Amanda, I did all the work. You're not my favorite. What are you doing? I'm looking for Mumsy's phone. But aren't you talking to Mumsy on her phone? Uh, my eyes! Oh, is it that big? Eyes! Oh my god! Oh. oh, I'd recognize that little peepee -pee anywhere. It hasn't changed a bit. She says it's over here, but I don't... Oh my god, look! Mumsy and Amanda are spying with binoculars! Oh, my baby is going to be very, very happy. I never thought I would say this, but I, I think I've had enough for today. Bo Baby, I have the best idea for my dress for the wedding. We're all ears, Mumsy, right, Nutty Nut? Huh? <laughs> right, squirrel. Wouldn't it be fantastic if my gown fabric were made into a pocket square? That way we would match. Oh my god, I love that idea for our tuxedo pockets. Uh, two matchy matchy, just one, Bo. But I love that idea, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so on to the reception. <laughs> Bo, have you heard from your family yet? I'm afraid they can't come. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why? Well, they're all in, in the South Pole. And because of the weather with the snow and the ice, you know, planes can't get in and out. So maybe we should wait until the thaw. I mean, I'd really like to meet them. Seth, that's crazy talk. We are not waiting one more minute for this wedding. Now, gay weddings are trending right now, but I have a feeling we're right on the cusp. Mm. Next year could be all trans weddings, and frankly, you just don't have the bone structure for that. Mumsy's right. We right. can't wait, we can't wait. Right. You know, why, why do you keep touching my head? I have a great idea. I will walk Bo down the aisle. <gasps> no one will even miss his family. Problem solved. Wait, what? so you're going to walk, walk us both down the aisle? Well, that would be stupid. Our fabrics match. We'll get Amanda to walk you down the aisle. Hmm? On to the reception. It's going to be outside. And you know, Seth, I worry about those little brown dots on your head. You know, if we drew a connecting line from dot to dot, it would be the map of Mexico. Oh, well, that's not a ball joke, sweetie. Your Guadalajara dot is my favorite. Yeah, it's right over here. <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm allergic to sunscreen. I have solved that. I've ordered the most beautiful top hat for the reception. You, you did? did? For the wedding, too. No, 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 no. I am not marrying a hat. <laughs> You're not marrying a hat. You're marrying me. And we're little brown dots. Trust me, darling, it's a beautiful hat. No, 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 it's all wrong. That ruins everything. This is bad. This is, no, I'm not marrying a hat. No, you're not wearing a hat. Okay, then. Ixnay on the at hay. I'm glad that's settled. <sighs> no. All right, I guess I could wear sunscreen for one day. I'll bring an EpiPen. Those baby flamingos by the loopy juice pool had a mommy. And I'll bet if the mommy flamingo 
could do it all over again. He wouldn't have had so many special uncles. And, and she wouldn't have hired some random bird to sit on her nest with you babies at Christmas while she flew off to San Moritz. And she wouldn't have told you that the calendar was broken every time the loopy juice made her for, forget your birthdays. In fact, if the mommy flamingo could talk, she'd probably tell her baby chicks that she's very, very sorry. Well, I'm never going to say that again. You know, I don't think it's the age thing. I think it's the beautiful bald head thing. You know, once I had an ex who was obsessed with the back of my left eye. I didn't judge. All the while we were married, I wore mini skirts. And then winter came and I broke it off. But it was the best four months of my life. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God.